I'm here today to share with you the biggest game changer that I made to my food photography business the first year in operations. Hey there, I'm Jen and welcome to Cashmere and Cocktails. If you haven't guessed it already, or if you didn't read the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about tethering. So what is shooting tethered? Shooting tethered just means that you are connecting your camera to your computer with a cable. That's it. Why this is so useful in food photography is that you can see what your camera sees blown up on a large screen. This is important for several reasons. The biggest reason that I find shooting tethered useful is when I'm trying to style a scene, especially when that scene is a flat lay. So let me paint you a picture of what shooting a flat lay photo looked like before I was tethering. I would basically start with setting my camera up on its tripod overhead. And then I would climb on a chair and look into the viewfinder, climb back down and fix the scene, climb back up and look at it again, and then have to climb back down and then fix the scene again, and then climb back up and climb back down and climb back up and climb back down and climb back down. It was exhausting. I'm sure it was really good for my glutes, but otherwise it was really not efficient. And there were a few occasions where my head hit a ceiling lamp. That happened. Now, it looks a lot different because I no longer have to climb up on a chair to see what my camera sees and not hit my head on a ceiling lamp. I promise this is my natural hair color. Was I dropped as a baby? Maybe. Another perk when shooting tethered is that you can adjust all of your manual camera settings right on your computer. So if your camera is set up on an overhead shot or you really don't want to disturb it, you don't have to, you can do it all from your computer. If you ever shot a series of images and thought for sure they would be amazing, only to upload them to your computer and realize they were all out of focus, because it's happened to me. I shoot in manual focus. This means that I will manually adjust my lens to select the exact area that I want in focus. Sometimes, sometimes you're wrong, but it happens to me no longer because now that I shoot tethered, I can select the specific area that I want in focus and really zoom in on the screen and know with all confidence that it will be in focus. I like that. So now that I have you on board with shooting tethered, here are the steps that you'll need to take to make it happen. Don't worry. They're super easy. I can do them, so yeah. Step one, if you don't already have a cable that connects from your camera to your computer, you're going to need one. There are several sites online if it isn't something you can find locally, and I will link those in the description box below. Step two, download your camera's manufacturer software onto your computer and install it. Connect your camera to your computer with the tethering cable and make sure that your camera is turned on and that your computer is turned on. I know this sounds like a given, but uh, I tried to turn a lamp on once and it wasn't plugged in and I changed the bulb three times. Anyway, this should launch the software and it should magically start up onto your computer. In the off chance that it doesn't, you can start it up manually by searching it in the search bar and doing it yourself. And last, for Canon users, you will select Remote Shooting on the main menu of your software and then Live Shoot. So that's it for me today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video and found it useful, please subscribe to my channel and Go ahead and like and click the little bell thing for notifications and whatever these YouTube people do, please do those things. I hope to see you real soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Manufacturer, manufacturer, so hard to say. Shoot, I think, no. Stop doing that. Select. Remote. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, ooh.
<sighs> it's been a long day.